We continue to check in on the poll that we started earlier this evening. Artificial intelligence is projected to be a tr trillion dollar industry in the coming years. So tonight we're asking you, how do you feel about the growth of AI? Are you excited, concerned, or interested but hesitant? Weigh in, th311.com slash vote right now about Almost two out of three of you say that you are concerned. Well, educators are concerned of how this new tech is being used in the classroom. It's all because of a thing called ChatGPT. It came out a couple of months ago. It's a language model tool that predicts what words can be put together to make a sentence. The program can write essays, answer math problems, and even solve some chemistry equations. So schools in New York City have banned the bot on their networks and devices. And a Princeton student is getting ahead of this by working on a program to outsmart the artificial intelligence. GPT-0 helps teachers determine if something was written by a human or AI. Have you heard from any students out there that are a little frustrated with you? <laughs> yeah, so the reaction has been pretty astonishing. I've been hearing from teachers all over the world that have reached out. A lot of them have been trying out GPT-0 and saying it actually confirmed some suspicions. That's Edward Tien. He's looking to improve his technology, and so is the company behind ChatGPT. Developers there are reportedly ready to release a more powerful AI in the coming months. And uh, Nathan, I said this earlier at five, that as long as they don't have one that can take a script that we write here and integrate a dad <laughs> joke, I think I'm okay, and I think you're okay weather-wise. Yeah.